Created at the end of the last ice age, the Niagara Falls are one of the most iconic waterfalls in the world. Surrounded by monuments, overlooks, and attractions, Niagara Falls draws people in from all around the globe. This is Niagara Falls. Our day began in Hamilton, Ontario. After a short trip on the highway, we decided to get off and take the scenic route. Along the way, we took a short ride through Niagara on the lake. So we uh, are taking the scenic drive down to Niagara Falls. This is the Niagara River. Saw the scenic overlook, thought we'd pull over and check it out. So we're on the Canadian side. Everyone says Niagara Falls is more beautiful on the Canadian side. And there's New York. It's a beautiful drive. Can't wait to get to Niagara Falls. Back on the road. Do it. Brock's Monument is a 156-foot column dedicated to Major General Sir Isaac Brock, a Canadian hero of the War of Quote me on this, but I think I read this is the largest floral clock in the world. Or maybe in North America. I love all the tulips. What do you think? Interesting. It's certainly beautiful. Would you want to ride the Whirlpool car? I'd rather do the boat that goes under the, uh, the falls. There's a lot of people waiting in line. There it is. Feel how it's gotten so much colder? It has. There was a lot to see before we actually got to the falls. The nice thing is for the entrance fee into the parking lot, we can come and go all day. So 20 Canadian dollars, parking till midnight, in and out privileges. It's not a bad deal. Plus we get to have dinner. What are you making us? I'm going to make sweet rice. Ooh. I'm going to open the back door. Okay. Okay. Let the breeze in. Ready? Do it. There's the, there falls. the falls. Camping at Niagara Falls. <laughs> well, day camping. We're not allowed to spend the night. This feels awesome. You found a great parking spot. Thank you. Honey. You're welcome. Not a bad place to have dinner, is it? No. One thing I missed quite a bit while we were abroad in Spain was making my own coffee. Did make coffee at the Airbnbs we stayed at, but just wasn't the same without all my gear. Kate actually suggested I bring my stuff with me, but I didn't want to have to try and pack all of that. When we got back, I did have a surprise waiting for me. There's a package of my favorite coffee, the Demitas Costa Rican. Oh, that smells so good. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Coffee's almost as good as the view of the falls.
That was a great dinner, and now we're gonna go check out the falls. You ready, babe? Ready. Let's do this. This is the rainbow we were admiring from the van. It's pretty impressive. I can't wait to see it all lit up at nighttime. Although there is no charge to view the falls, you can pay a fee to walk behind them. If that's not enough, take a 20 minute cruise to the heart of the falls. I have to admit, when we first drove up and I saw the American Falls, I was slightly unimpressed. But now that we're walking by it, it is really beautiful. It's very different from the Canadian Horseshoe Falls. But I like the rock at the bottom and how the waterfall hits it and the mist rising off of it. Just make sure you don't jump over. Apparently, it's dangerous. It's quite the fall. At the falls? But a shh. And of course, we brought Leo with us, so we got some good pictures of him at the falls. As kitschy as this is, it's kind of fun to walk around. I had to take my beanie off, it was getting hot. You want to go see the Ferris wheel? Sure. Just be careful because cars have the right of way. Or so that sign says. Oh, all right, let's go. Run, run, run. I've never heard of Boston pizza before, have you? No. Is that like a mix of Chicago and New York? I don't know. With some beans thrown on top? Beans? Why would there be beans on the Boston pizza? You know, pizza? Boston baked beans. Oh, interesting. Everyone's asked if I've gotten Tim Horton's coffee. I have. Tried it. That's where I, uh, my statement ends. <laughs> Oh my God, look at the moose. I'm excited for the night lights. I know, it's beautiful. All right, let's make some tea and... Head back out? Yeah. Okay. Got my tea. Let's go see Niagara all lit up. Are you excited? Yep. window. One 
of our most recent purchases, an air popper for popcorn. Camped at Walmart for the evening, although you can't really tell, but we do have a neighbor. There you go, my love. Thank you. One bowl of popcorn. Back to the U.S. Here we go. Nervous? Not really. Welcome to the United States of America. Buses and RVs keep RV lane. That was easy. Yeah, it got through, no problems. So we had no problems going into Canada and none coming out. And we didn't have to pay on this way. No, just it's uh, 475 Canadian when you're crossing from the US to Canada across the Rainbow Bridge. Welcome to New York.